So this is how I wore my hair when I first started doing it myself my freshman year in college. Uh, it was in its natural state, <clears throat> pulled back, but it's kind of in a messy, greasy, hot mess bun. Um, it looks generally healthy, but I brushed the crap out of it, so it was kind of broken off and uneven and pretty damaged. This is when I discovered the wonderful world of weave. And this is my first sewing ever, but it was done horribly because the girl braided it way too tight and it brought out all my edges. This is when I finally got a better weave and this time I left the front part of my hair out, but it looks more natural. And this is how I let my hair begin to rest in braids underneath. So after wearing weave for a couple years and allowing my hair to rest, this is the result. After a fresh trim, my hair was much fuller and healthier after wearing weaves. But eventually I put the weaves back in and I took it too far and the consequences were dire. Here you can see my hair is longer but the ends are completely see-through and damaged. So this is after I started taking care of my hair for the first time in my entire life. I actually started caring for my hair and I got it back to a pretty good state. I even took it a step further and started trimming my own ends and taking hair vitamins. And this was the result of that. My hair became healthier, fuller, and shinier. After taking care of it, it even started growing longer. So I continued to trim it and take my hair vitamins, and this was the result. Although I started back out on a good foot, I eventually took it too far with the heat this time. Wearing my hair out and wearing it natural, I was straightening it a lot and it damaged my hair horribly. So I kind of lost all my progress and ended up having to get all the damaged ends cut off. So this represents where I started over again. This time I vowed I would take better care of my hair than I ever had before. I started doing research on hair care and how to make my hair healthier and how to make it grow. So I decided the next summer that I would put no heat in my hair. So this picture is of me, how I wore it for the whole summer, curly and in its natural state. This is another picture towards the end of the summer of me in my curly hair, keeping heat all the way out of it. So this is about six months later after the time that I went heat free and my hair had gained some fullness back and some length. I straightened it on and off but I even took some breaks again to wear it uh, naturally curly to give it a rest from the heat and the stress and the strain. During this time, I did as much as I could to keep heat out of it, but without wearing weaves, there's only so much heat you can keep out of it. So it gained length, but again, those ends are looking pretty thin. Again, here you can see it gained plenty of length, but those ends are just a little bit too see-through and thin for me. In this picture, you can even get a better idea of how the length was there, but the fullness was not. And my hair was just a little bit too limp for me, the ends a little bit too thin, and my hair just a little bit too uneven. So this was when I decided that I was really gonna have to start getting on my trim game and get my hair back up to speed to where I wanted it to be. So I started giving myself regular, regular trims and dusts, and I started back taking my hair vitamins here and there. I didn't take them consistently, but you can see there's already a difference in the health, length, and fullness of my hair. This is after more consistent trimming, 
and even more consistent taking of my hair vitamins. I decided that as much as I straightened my hair, I was gonna trim it and dust it. And this was the result. So as you can see here, my hair is much longer, it's much fuller, and the ends are much healthier. Then I decided to take the plunge and get my hair professionally cut. Not only did I want my ends to be superb, but I also wanted a style that I could wear instead of the kind of boring straight down limp look that I had. And this was the result. I got some length cut off, but I also got layers cut as well. A month after my cut, consistent taking of my hair vitamins and minimal heat, this was the result of my hair. As you can see, it's much fuller, it's shinier, and the ends are healthy. So that brings me to where I am now. My hair is much fuller, healthier, longer, and my ends are much better. By no means am I where I want to be right now. I'm still on my healthy hair journey to get to full waist length and, of course, with healthy hair and healthy ends. So this is my updated hair journey. I hope it was informative and inspirational to some of you. Please visit my blog, SierraElaine.com. Follow me on Twitter, rate, subscribe, and stay tuned.